What's up guys? Welcome back to another Fleet Market Grab video. So unfortunately, I only get to go one day this week because yesterday it was like really cold. There was nobody there. I went, there was like literally one vendor there. Um, but I did get something from that one vendor, which I will show you guys. Um, and then I went Tuesday and I did pick up a couple things, but I accidentally deleted the footage off my phone because I thought it was footage from last week. So I don't have the footage of me finding the stuff, but I will show you guys what I did pick up. But we're on our way right now, so um, hopefully I find some good stuff because it is still pretty cold. Don't forget to hit that like button if you are enjoying the videos. Um, subscribe if you're not already and you guys want to see more. And drop a comment. I'll try to respond to all the comments I can. But hopefully there's people there, so let's go. How much are your games? They, uh, 15. 15? Okay. Always nice to find these, even though it is a little rough, but for what I paid, it's all right. Oh, damn! Alright guys, so I'm here at the bank because my storage unit friend actually has two pairs of shoes that I'm going to buy off him for $120 for the pair. He originally wanted more, but I asked him if he would do less. Um, so yeah, he said he would do $120 for both. Um, I'm going to show you guys what they are when I get them when I get home. So I guess I'm paying 60 bucks a piece, but in my opinion, it's worth it. So yeah, I had to come to the bank because I didn't have enough. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I get when I get them. So let's go. What is up guys? Welcome back to another flea market grab video. So this week's video almost didn't even happen because I did go yesterday, Saturday, and there was nobody there. There was like one, literally one vendor there. I did pick up something from that one vendor which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then I went Tuesday. There wasn't really that many people at that flea market either because it was cold too. But I did pick up three things, but I accidentally deleted the footage. I was thinking it was footage from last week's video, so I just went ahead and deleted it. But it was actually the footage for this week's flea market video. I went today, Sunday, hoping that I could find some good stuff so I could throw a video together because it was really gonna all depend on if what I found today. And luckily, I found some good stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So like usual, we're gonna start off with the video games. The first thing I picked up is this AGS-101 one Game Boy Advance SP right here. So you can see AGS 101. This is the one with the brighter backlight that everybody wants. Somebody uh, lightly drew a Superman logo on it, if you can see that. So this one is pretty beat up, but I went ahead and grabbed it because people still want these. Uh, they'll like change the shell out on them or whatever. And as you can see, there's a crack in this one. It did come with a game, Daredevil, which I don't know. 
probably not even worth anything. But the screen is in really good shape. I grab these AGS 101s whenever I can because they do go for a little bit of money. And I ended up paying $12 for this. He wanted $15. Uh, I offered him 10, but we settled at 12, so I went ahead and grabbed that for 12. For five bucks, I picked up a copy of New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. It is complete, it has the case and manual, the disc is in really good shape. I know this is not really worth that much, it's probably worth about 15 to 20 bucks. But, finding a Mario game at the flea market for five bucks is always a plus because usually when you find a Mario game, they put the Mario tax on it, and they usually charge like 20, 25 dollars. So finding this for five bucks, I went ahead and grabbed it. And then these next two games, I paid two bucks for a piece. I've been playing a lot of racing games these past couple months, so I went ahead and grabbed these. Kind of been on like a racing game spree. <laughs> But I grabbed Grid on the Xbox 360 for two bucks. I've never played this game. I guess it's a circuit racing game, I don't know. If you guys have played this game, let me know if it's any good. But it has the manual and everything, so I went ahead and picked this up for two bucks. And then also for two bucks, I picked up a copy of Burnout Revenge, which these Burnout games are always great. I forget what this mode is called right here, the like crash mode or whatever. I always enjoy playing that. But this one has the manual and it's complete and everything too, so grab that for two bucks. For three dollars, I picked up another GameCube control. This one's the Indigo Purple control. Like I said in the last video, these controls are actually going for a little money right now. They're like 30 bucks because Super Smash Brothers came out. But this one I'm actually going to be holding for a friend because he asked me to look for GameCube controls for him for his Smash Bros because he doesn't have any. So I picked that up for three bucks. And then for $20, this is the one thing that I found Saturday from the one vendor that was there in the cold. And that is this Nintendo 64 console right here. The good thing about this one is it has the expansion pack, as you can see. So I paid 20 bucks for this, but um, just the expansion pack alone is worth about $20, $25. So I knew it was a decent deal, not the greatest, but it was a decent deal. And it did come with the power wire and the AV cables. No controls, unfortunately, but I got a lot of those. So I went ahead and scooped up the N64 for 20 bucks. And then also for five bucks, this was the game that I deleted the footage for, me finding. We got a copy of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes on the GameCube. I mean, what can you say, Metroid Prime, everybody loves Metroid Prime. And everybody's waiting for the new one to come out on the Switch. So that's that for five bucks. And now let's move on to the shoes, which I have quite a lot to show you guys. I've actually picked up five pairs of shoes this week. So first, let me show you the ones that I deleted the footage of accidentally. And that is the cool gray Jordan 9 right here. So I ended up grabbing these for $35. She originally wanted $40, but I asked her if she would take any less, and she said she'd do $35. Uh, overall, they're still in good shape. They have a little bit of scuffings on them, if you look real close. The paint on the midsole has a little bit of chipping. Not too crazy, though. Here is the right shoe. You can see a little bit of chipping on the midsole as well on this one. And then it has a little scratch and scuff in that the same spot as the other one. And then a little bit of creasing on the toe box. But overall, they're still in pretty decent shape. I personally really like this shoe, but nines do run a little bit big in my experience. And these are a size 11, so I would probably need like a 10, maybe even a nine and a half in these nines. So I will not be keeping these, even though I do really like these, but I didn't want to leave them for only $35. So that is the Cool Gray 9s for 35 bucks. Next up we got a shoe that I bought for the personal collection for only $20. We got a pair of the Oreo 6s right here. To me this shoe is very underrated. I think this is probably one of the best 6s in my opinion. Just because it's so easy to wear with everything because it's just black and white. Still has the lace lock which that's a plus. They're actually still in really good shape too. I mean they do have like some creasing back here on the back as you can see. But overall, still really clean. I mean, the bottoms are pretty yellow, but you know, it's a six. And I don't have any sixes in my collection. I did have the Sport Blues. I've had the White Infrareds. I've had the Olympics. I've had a couple pairs of sixes, but I always get rid of them because I just never wear them. But I feel like this shoe will get wear because it's such a simple colorway and such an easy shoe to wear. So I picked up the Oreo sixes for 20 bucks. Next up, for $20, I picked up a pair of Bread 11s. But these are beaters as you can see the patent leather has cracking in it i don't know if that's going to pick up in camera but um on the sides of the toe box they have cracking in the patent leather not on the toe box itself as you can see the toe box itself is still really clean but i don't even know how this happens like i've had my pair for a while and this i have, mine shows no signs of cracking like that which that sucks because other than that patent leather cracking on the side of the toe box on both shoes they're actually still pretty clean overall the 23 is still there which usually that 23 rubs off and the bottoms are still really clean and there's no separation on the toe box or anything like that so i actually ended up paying 18 dollars for these i forgot because he asked 20 but i asked him if he would take any lower since the cracking's on here and i really don't know if you can even fix that um, but he told me he would do 18 so i went ahead and took them for 18 bucks these are a size 11 but they've actually already been sold
So as you can see, these do not have the cracking on the side like the other pair has. And the 23 on the back is a little bit more faded on these, but it's still there. But as you can see from the bottoms, so they're still in really good shape. So he originally wanted 75 for these, but I actually talked him down to 60 bucks to do these two shoes, two for 120. I actually didn't have that much left on me, so I had to run to the bank as you guys saw. But I feel for 60 bucks, this was definitely a great pickup. Size 13, way too big for me, but I already own this same pair. Both of these are the 2012s, I don't know if I mentioned that. I know these are releasing again this year, but uh, they're gonna have that high patent leather. I know some people prefer the lower cut patent leather, so I know somebody is looking for these. So I went ahead and grabbed these for 60 bucks. And then the second shoe I grabbed for 60 bucks is the Game Royal Jordan 1s right here. And again, just like the bread, these are in really good shape. These are a size 12. Um, these don't look, they look barely worn, honestly. Um, they still have like 90% of the stars. As you can see on the toe box, they have a little bit of creasing, but it's not bad. I remember when these came out, a lot of people didn't really like them. I don't know why. I like them. I like the colorway on them. Um, now they're starting to creep up in price. People are starting to buy them. But I bet if they would have labeled these the reverse fragments, I bet you these things would have sold out. But these are a size 12, so I'm assuming they came from the same person. Not really a lot to say about these. Just a really clean pair of Game Royal ones. And I got these two for 120 So those are my flea market pickups for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Luckily, today, Sunday, was a really good day, or there probably wouldn't have been a flea market video this week. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that like button. It lets me know drop a comment down below and subscribe if you are not already and i will see you guys next week with another one so later